We're talking about Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap, as predicted, has finally cast their lead role. And the lead role, his name is Raymond Lee. Yeah, we, we did it. We put out a video. Um, it didn't get as much love on our prop podcast prime channel as I would have liked. Um, and maybe it'll, it'll still pick up, but it was basically the casting sheet for Quantum Leap. And we we got our hands on an, on an early look at it to see who was going to be cast. And it said that the main role was going to be cast to basically an Asian Islander, Pacific or or Middle Eastern man. And we have right here Raymond Lee, obviously uh, of Asian descent. Um, and he's going to be the lead role. And he's playing the role of Dr. Ben Siong. That was not the name that we had, though, on the cash sheet. You know that? Uh, it's close to that. They changed it. It was close to it, though, right? It was like something. Yeah, bad. Dr. Ben Song. It's It was a little bit different than that. It says, per deadline, Lee will play Dr. Ben Song, a spiritual successor to Scott Bakula's Dr. Sam Beckett. Now, when they say spiritual successor... Um, that's interesting. And they're going to, you know, this headline was chosen very specifically. The headline is Quantum Leap, Raymond Lee set to succeed Scott Bakula in NBC reboot. That is not true. This guy is going to have the lead role. That does not mean that Scott Bakula is not coming back to Quantum Leap. According to sources, uh, it is still to be determined on whether he's going to be involved in the project. Brian and I are of a specific belief that he will be involved. He's not doing anything else. NCIS New Orleans is done, and he's on hiatus. I'm telling you, he's waiting to see all the pieces come together. He's waiting for the pilot to be done, and I think he's going to be a big surprise uh, for Quantum Leap fans, and I don't think we've seen the last of Sam Beckett. Ziggy! Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, but if you want, you need to go look at that video that we put out because it talks about all the other characters and there are some interesting and perhaps questionable characters that we talk about that they're going to have. Um, and there's, there's a little bit of concern that there might be some, um, um, what's the right word? Signaling. Uh, virtue thinking? signaling. Virtue signaling happening here with this show. We hope not. Yeah. It's this um, video quantum leap casting revealed. Original series um, leap. It's time Quantum Leap was a it was a progressive show. I mean, they talked a lot. There was a lot that the issues with dealt with feminism and racism. It was it was definitely a show on the edge of its time. So it would not surprise me also to be a show on the edge of its time. Uh, we're going to be dealing with at least a time frame um, in the late '80s for this for this uh, pilot episode. Uh, so if you think about what the country was tone deaf about in that time frame, um, I would not be surprised to see some sort of um, um, anti anti gay anti LGBTQ material in the show, because that in that time there was there was a lot of heavy uh, anti that, and it would not surprise me at all to be, you know, going through that. All right. But there's a lot of stories to tell, and we still got to bring Sam home. So this is just the first. Stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you more news as Quantum Leap stuff drops. And uh, and let's, fingers crossed, let's just be really clear. If there is no um, if there is no Scott Bakula in this TV show, then I doubt I'm going to be watching it. Oh, oh here. Let me just play this for you guys real quick. Where, where, where was that? <laughs> Wasn't that many did say that in the movie, right? What's that? <clears throat> we said that in the video, didn't we? Yeah, we all said that in the video. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was very, very obvious. It was towards the end. We might be spending a whole lot more time. There we go. The multi-like listing sheet all spin for seven. One of I don't know where it's at, but we made it very, very clear. Yeah. That we're, we're good. We're not going to watch it if there's no Scott. We're, not, we're just not. You know, and, and, he, and Scott Bakula has given every indication that he... You know, he cares about this show. Donald Belisario is in the show. I am. I would be blinded to believe that with Don Belisario still alive and as a producer on the show and Scott Bakula not doing anything, it makes zero sense for him not to do this. Right, you're right. So. Makes zero sense. Um, you know, I'm still going to be interested in um, 
I mean, not quantum leap, but like, let's say he's not going to make quantum leap. I'm, there's other stuff that he can, that, that Scott Bakula has been, has been in talks to do that are super fascinating. Like cameos in strange new worlds as like flashbacks and stuff on video realms. It's like there's a lot of stuff going on. Mm. So he's not doing anything right now, but <clears throat> he can be holding out, you know, maybe he's holding out because he has, he has other offers. In fact, they might be doing a, a new Chuck um, revival, and he was a big part of that show. So, yeah, that's true. I mean, there is option. I just Quantum Leap is really what put him on the map, and uh, you know, he's talked about. He, lo- I just can't imagine him not being in the show if he has an opportunity to be in the show. Now, if they're not going to pay him what he's worth, then maybe it's not worth doing it. But um, or maybe he maybe he doesn't like what they're going to do. That's possible. Maybe he doesn't want to be involved in it. But we don't have an answer yet. So so what about this guy real quick? Uh, what it, what has Raymond Lee done? Well, oh yeah, we can look at that. Because that's... Not that I'm terribly interested, but he's in a TV show called uh, uh, the, the Kevin Can F Himself. The Kevin Can F Himself, yeah. Okay, Kevin Can F Himself. It's, it's funny. It's, it says The Kevin. <clears throat> Just a seven. It says Kevin here. So um, he was uh, Mozart in the Jungle. Oh, he's he's going to be in Top Gun Maverick. Really? Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, What's he playing? I don't know. It just says Top Gun Maverick completed. Unti- there it, it, untitled Quantum Leap sequel project. There it is. I can't I can't tell if he's if he's got leading man looks. Yeah, he doesn't to me. Um, he played Sam and Kevin can go f- uh, frack himself. <laughs> uh, Magnum PI. Oh, look at there. Oh, that's the tie, guys. Okay, so of course Belisario is involved in Magnum PI, so that must be why. Now he was only in one episode of that series, but it doesn't surprise me at all that you would see somebody who's been in something else that Belisario has been in. Right. Uh, he's done a lot of one-offs, though. You notice that a lot of one-offs. Yeah, he did some episodes of Here and Now. I don't even know what that is. Mozart in the Jungle. I feel like I've heard that. Yeah. Scandal. Seen a couple episodes of that. Yeah, I don't. You know, he definitely doesn't have leading man roles. Everything he's been in is like one off, one off, one off, one off. So, so this Here and Now. I'm sorry. What was that? So this will be kind of a new thing for him to be like a lead in a series. Looks like Here and Now was his big. Was the one he did the most of. Okay. Was he the lead in that? I don't think he was the lead, because like, but he's on the poster. I don't think he's ever been a lead. Yeah. So this is that's gonna be so. I mean, well, hopefully he's got the chops. You know, we'll have to go back and check out something he's done. Yeah. Yeah. We'll look it up. We'll we'll check him out. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. We'll make sure he's right for the role. And then we will do absolutely nothing about it if he's not. Right. <laughs> we'll complain a whole bunch. And, you know, we'll be honest. Yeah, I mean, uh, hopefully, honestly, if Scott Bakula is in it, like we think he's going to be, then it the other happen. casting doesn't mean a, mean a lot. <clears throat> no. Right? And we could be pleasantly surprised by somebody else. Right. I mean, it's like, whatever. Cool. Um, Because, let's be real, if Scott's in it, he's the lead. 100%. All right, well, that is it. Let us know what you guys think. Are you guys excited about a Quantum Leap reboot, or are you just assuming that it's going to be absolute garbage? <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us why, at least in the comments. At least below. tell us why in the comments section below, and we'll see you tomorrow.